today. Why? Because the 4th of July is almost here. Yes. Yes. So come on in the room. In the kitchen. I'm patriotic, y'all. Y'all see me? Yes. All right. So today, what we are making, um, administrator, would you uh, put up and tell the people what we're making? Hey, bam, y'all like my glasses? Yes, yes. I know it's overkill, but I want you to get the message. Fourth of July. Um, many of us probably will be cooking out in our backyards, in our homes, um, maybe social distancing. Uh, so today we're going to do an all-American meal. I know many of us, yes, um, Diana, yes. Many of us have been distance, social distancing. You like it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I thought, why not prepare something to get us ready for the 4th of July? Whether you're going to somebody's home, um, social distancing, um, Corona is still real and alive. Um, mm -mm, not me. Not, no. All right. So let's get started. I know you saw what we were making. We are going to be doing hot dogs a different way, all right? So, let's talk about, we'll talk about hot dogs in a minute. Where they came from, um, it started in 1852, uh, back in Germany. They had um, hot dogs, they were called Frankfurters. They came to the United States. Um, not good for you. I know they taste good. I've eaten a hot dog or two in my day, yes. Um, but now we're trying to be healthier. So, 
what is Chef Mar going to do today? You ask me and I'm going to tell you. We are making hot dogs. Hold up. Hold up before you get upset. You know I got to bring it a healthy way. So, here's Chef Mar's hot dog a whole different way. All right, here we go. We're making hot dogs out of carrots. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Just stick with me till the end. Till the end. All right. Let's get our announcements out the way. Last week we had announcements in Chef Mars Kitchen. So every week we want to get announcements out of the way. Please pay attention. Govern yourself accordingly. All right. All right. All right. Announcements. Many of you have gotten an invite to my new Facebook page, and it's called Cooking with Chef Mar. Cooking with Chef Mar. If you receive the invite, in order to join the group, there are three questions, one, two, three questions that you must answer in order to join the group. They're not difficult, but I just need to know who's in the room, all right? Who's in the kitchen, and why do you want to be here, all right? So that's number one. Go to the page, um, join as a member, doesn't cost anything. Go on to Cooking with Chef Mar. My beautiful face will pop right up, okay? So, second, um, passports. They are in and ready to be delivered. All you need to do is, let me explain what it is. A passport is Cooking Around the World with Chef Mar. As you know, I've been doing that lately. Meals from all around the region, the country, um, all over. So if you would like to be a part of that, I would be so happy. It only costs $10. Um, United States passport costs more than that. Um, just let me know. Um, leave me a comment and say, yes, I would like a passport. But there is a cost of only $10. Only $10. Cash at me at dollar sign. Marlene Coles. That is dollar sign Marlene Coles ten dollars. Now there's a stipulation in getting a um, passport. You have to make one of the dishes either starting today all the way back. Go look at the videos. I'm on Facebook Live. Make one of the dishes. Post the dish. All right. Email it to me at check this out. C W C M at gmail.com c w c m at gmail.com with your picture what will that do that will get you once the ten dollars comes in i will bring you a path give you a passport it will have a stamp that says approved by chef mar you will have a flag all right not whatever region whatever country you will get a flag and also your picture um, you will take your picture and just, um, you know, just put your picture in the uh, book. Glue it in, whatever you want to do. All right? So that's announcement number two. Also, announcement number three. Drum roll. Coming soon at a kitchen near you will be a Zoom class, Cooking with Chef Mar. All right? That is a class only for people that would like to learn how to cook um, certain things that I will be cooking. And it will only be on the Zoom class. There will be a minimum fee. And I'll give you an update when we're going to go um, live with that. So you'll have all the information. You'll have the recipe. It will not be difficult. All right? It will not be difficult. So if you would like to do that, Please um, let me know, or I'll let you know when we'll be going live so that I can give you the recipe, the instruction, the tools that you need, and it'll be simple, all right? Right, okay. Um, announcements are completed. There were three announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly, all right? Thank you very much for your attention, all right? Let's get cooking. Carrots. That's one of that's our main ingredient, the humble carrot. You said, well, how in the world is a carrot going to taste like a hot dog? I'm going to show you how. So, yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, how's everyone? Um. 
Somebody just uh, photobombed us in our kitchen. You were talking about carrots. No one to give you some information on carrots. Can I give you some information on carrots? Sure. Why not? Carrots. Bugs they're Bunny. Good, they're good for beta carotene. Uh huh. Beta carotene is not vitamin A. People always think of vitamin A. Uh huh. But beta carotene is a, a precursor for for uh, vitamin A. Oh. So you need beta carotenes in order to make that vitamin A. Okay. And what's vitamin A good for? I don't know. You tell me. Vision health. People always say vision health and eye health. Okay. But there's something else that vitamin A is good for. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> what? Your immune system. Yes. I take vitamin A also. Yes. Good skin health. Skin. And your mucous membrane system. Mucous membrane system. But that's my two cents on carrots. Well, carrots. we have dropped some knowledge here <laughs> in the kitchen again. All right. Well, thank you, uh, uh, Encyclopedia Rob. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, All right. Okay. You want, you want some information on bacon? Bacon? N n not today. Not today? Not today. Okay. We need to get. We don't meat. eat bacon. We don't. Well, we eat bacon, but we eat a different type of bacon. We okay. eat. We eat carrot bacon. Anyway. Anyway. Well, all bye. right, bye. bye. Y'all wait by the rhyme. Say by the rhyme. All right. Bye. Say by the rhyme. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Um. Let's see. Administrator. Um. Uh, I want you to know that he does that to me in enrichment class too on Sunday, so it's nothing strange, all right? Um, yes, we're dropping that knowledge. Knowledge is key. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, administrator. In case you don't know, our moderator and administrator is none other than Patty Ann Spicer, dropping the knowledge as I give it in your text, all right? Hi, Whitney. Yes. Hello. All right. So. Let's get started. In our pot, we have um, a half a cup of boiling water or enough water to cover your carrots, all right? Stick with me. Believe me, I thought this was wild and crazy too, but it's not. If you can't see, swipe your um, comments. For those of you who are new in the room, welcome. If I don't apply or reply, excuse me, to your comments, um, the administrator will, all right? So today, we have carrots. You peel them just like you would do. Cut off the end. Cut off the end. Peel a carrot, all right? Peel them. Not this big. This would be a sausage. You need something that's going to fit on a bun, all right? Very good. In our mixture, we have a variety of things to make this taste like a hot dog. Because what good is a, 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 a cookout without a good old hot dog? I, don't, I like hot dogs, yes, yes, all right? So, in a bowl, we're going to put our ingredients. You're familiar with this. If you've been cooking with Chef Mar for some time, you can use coconut aminos. If you don't have liquid aminos, um, if you're into soy sauce, um, you can use that. Sometimes soy sauce makes people a little loopy. It does, for real. No jokes. So, into a bowl, I am going to, let me move my carrot Put your water on uh, to boil after you peel them, put them in a pot and let them start boiling, okay? So we're going to turn on our, I kind of started this because it takes a little while for carrots to really get done. Now, let me say this, do not let your carrot get limp. Do not let the carrot get limp. We don't want limp carrots or mushy carrots. Should I say mushy, 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 all right? Mushy is a better word, all right? You want it to be um, so that you can stick a fork in it, but still have some bite to it, okay? Yes, yes, all right. Tablespoon of liquid aminos. We're gonna start off with one, all right? We might need two because of the water might dilute the um, liquid aminos, all right? So we have liquid aminos, we have liquid smoke. It doesn't come in this bottle, it comes like this. Let me show you. Liquid smoke, you need that. We're gonna add one teaspoon 
Why am I screaming? One teaspoon. This is very powerful. Put that in with your liquid aminos. You can always add, it's hard to take stuff out, all right? So that was our liquid aminos, our liquid smoke. We also have some ACV. If you hear me say that from time to time, apple cider vinegar. You want to get it with the mother, and we'll talk about that later, all right? You're going to add a tablespoon of that. All right. Next, what do we have next? We have a little bit of maple syrup. We're going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup. All right. Hang in there. I promise you. I promise you. This is going to taste like a hot dog, okay? Um, last week, onion powder I was flying so long. But look who's back. Garlic powder. You know, they're, they're a pair. They're here again today. Yes, yes, they are. Welcome them back, why don't you? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. All right? Rob, they said thank you. Patty, your ultimate administrator, they said. I'm going to shake, um, you can use maybe um, a half a teaspoon of both, all right? And really, this is um, the onion powder and the garlic powder is to taste, all right? There we go. Thank you for coming garlic and onion powder. You know we use put things back as we use them. We're going to mix this up. And you said, wow, that's only a little bit. That's all you need. One thing I'm missing, smoked paprika. Make sure you put this in your uh, pantry. We're going to do a pantry review one day, okay? All right? And make sure you get 100% maple syrup. Thank you. You do not, do not get pancake syrup. No, mm -mm. not acceptable. No, you will fail the class. All right, no. We're gonna put a tape, um, a tape, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Oh, that smells good. It smells smoky. This, all of these ingredients, when you stir them together, your water is boiling with your hot dog, um, carrot. Let me say your hot dog. It's gonna be a hot dog. Yes, it is. GPOP, are you with me? Oh, yeah. You know what? My brother, Nate, um, is on here, and he's liable to say anything. Hello, Nelly. Hello. Um, Nate is Lorraine Land's husband. So if you see crazy comments or a name you don't recognize, it's him. Yes, it would be him. So since we have our carrots in our pot, let me bring you down so you can see it. Our carrots are in our pot. I'm going to stick the knife in because I had mine on a little while. See? Nice. It still has a bite to it. And you want carrots, um, try to get carrots the size of your bun. We're going to let this go a little longer since it's thicker. But if your knife or your fork can go through, that's good. You don't want a crunchy, you don't want them crunchy, all right? You Lorraine says she's sorry. I know, I know, he can't help it, all right? So, while our carrots are going, we're going to taste this. Put a little bit in my hand. Oh! <laughs> no, wait. Please try it. Please try it. I mean, for real. None other than the Bishop Pew. Hey, what's up? All right, we are making 4th of July cookout meal here today. All right, let's get our wipe because we know we cook clean, we eat clean, 
And most of all, I hope you're living clean, all right? So let's clean up. While our carrots are boiling, we're going to add our liquid. That's what it looks like. When you smell it, that's what it is. Bishop Blake! Yes! Oh, I'm, I got the bishops in the kitchen. Put that in your um, liquid, your water. Okay? Let that boil until your carrot gets for tender, not mushy, please. Please, don't DM in me and say, oh my gosh, that was nasty. The carrot probably was too soft. What are we making? Carrot hot dogs. All right? Yes. Let me tell you something. Hot dogs are made of a bunch of crap. Meat fat, pink slime, um, cereal filler. No, no, we're trying to do better. We're trying to do better. We're trying to do better. And these are some alternative, healthy ways that we can eat. We're going to let this come to a boil. So, the liquid, when this um, gets finished and gets tender, what I need you to do is let it cool off, put it in a container, like so. Ziploc bag. I did these already, so you wouldn't have to wait. So I'm going to sit these on the back burner, turn that off, and show you what they look like. You put them in the container, Ziploc bag, um, make sure it doesn't leak, and periodically, put them in the refrigerator first, periodically, just flip your bag, flip your bag, Overnight is good. Overnight is wonderful, okay? And really, these will last, um, once you're, they're out of the liquid, these will last for maybe um, two to three days, okay? So. Grill pan, because I like a real hot dog. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. We're gonna spray this with some olive oil, or whatever spray you have. Don't spray it on your pan while it's hot, okay? No, don't do that. All right, we're gonna turn this on. So while our pan is getting hot, we're gonna take our carrots out. Oh, oh, oh. oh, here we go. What am I looking for? I need a plate, here it is. I'm gonna take a plate with some paper towel and just take off the excess liquid out of our bag. Rob just came in here and dropped knowledge. Any other time, he don't want to be in the kitchen. But it's all right. It's all right. Patty, did you see that? Administrator, moderator. This is what it looks like. Okay? I'm using my hands. I did wash them. Now, little carrots like this, I would put two on a bun, okay? This one broke off. But look at the color on the inside. Your kids won't even know the difference. Don't throw the liquid away. Don't throw it away. I'm gonna pour it in with the rest of mine on the stove. Take off the excess moisture. No wonder he wanted to know what I was making. Because he was over there on that laptop. Dropping knowledge on us. Yes, but I love it. Sharing is caring. All right, so we're finished with this. Now, we're going to put these on the grill. But before we do that, we're going to move on to our corn salad. These are our carrot dogs. I'm telling you. They look just like hot dogs. 
and they taste just like hot dogs from the liquid smoke, from the um, smoked paprika, the little hint of maple gives it a little sweetness, the onion powder, the garlic powder. I'm trying to tell you, I, I really, really. So onto our carrot salad. In a bowl, I grilled some corn. I did it in the oven. You can do it on, on the outside grill or you can do it on the grill pan, all right? So in our bowl, we have carrot. I mean carrot, this is not carrot, this is corn. This is corn, all right? Take the corn, take it off the cob. Knife, please, thank you. Take it off the cob. There's an easier way to do this with a bowl on the inside. We'll show and talk about that later. But just take it, let me bring it over here so you can see. Just take it off the cob. You can use frozen corn. You can even use canned corn, but drain it, okay? If you use frozen, please um, let it defrost and get rid of the liquid that comes off of the frozen corn. But there's nothing like fresh corn. Into our garbage bucket, thank you for coming, and we'll do one more. It's just something about fresh. I guess um, really growing up in the country and um, getting everything fresh makes a difference. So I just carry that forward into my adult life. Some things that you know you can't get away from. All right. Thank you for coming. Now, let's get Myrtle's companion. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get Myrtle. Hold on. For those of you that are just joining me in the kitchen, this is Myrtle. Myrtle was my mother. Um, all of my cooking experience comes from my mother and my grandmother. So, um, this is Myrtle. Myrtle has family and friends. Myrtle has family and friends. Aren't they cute? Yes, I think so too. So we're going to break this up. Um, you can use your hand to break up the kernels in the bowl. I think I want to get a little larger bowl. Hold on one second. I don't think that's big enough for me. I think that's a little better, yes. So that was four ears of corn, fresh corn, that I grilled in the oven on 425 um, with some parchment paper, aluminum foil, a little olive oil on it, a little salt and pepper, okay? Washing my hands. Your hands are the best tools, all these 10 digits, best. Watch my hands. Y'all don't talk about me on the board. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, so let's get in here. Break up the kernel. And I must say that um, after today, all of the lives will be on Cooking with Chef Mar on that page. So I will be coming live from that page. All right? So I just needed to break that up. Into that, we are going to add some cherry tomatoes that we dice. So let's cut those up while we're waiting. Smaller paring knife. And these are um, little things that you can take to uh, a cookout with you, or if you're cooking at home, you can have them. It's fresh um, potato salad. You know, people forget that things with mayonnaise and um, and they let them sit out. Um, it's not good. Not good. Not good. You have to keep those things cold. We're gonna jump our tomatoes in. Let's see. Let's stir that up. I think we can use the rest of the tomatoes, and you can put um, as much of an ingredient. If there's an ingredient that you see in the recipe that you don't like, 
You don't have to use it. I say that every week. So if you don't like onion, don't put onion. All right? Remember holding your knife? Not like this. Okay? A sharp knife works well. You will get cut faster using a dull knife. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. When you cut something, it should slide right through like butter. Your knives are important, okay? Okay. All right, so that's our tomatoes. Thank you for coming also. So all we have in here so far is just corn and tomatoes. Nice fresh corn salad. We're gonna bump this up. We're gonna take a cucumber. I have an English cucumber, not a hot house cucumber. We're gonna take this, take the end off. Don't throw it away, you can eat this, okay? You know, Chef Mark's Kitchen, we waste nothing. What I'm gonna do is cut this in half. Are you able to see well? Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. We have the, I have the best moderator. Yes, Patty Ann Spicer. So that your salad does not become wet and soggy, we want to take out the seeds. All right, take out the seeds so that your salad won't be all soupy. This is a corn salad. We don't want it all watery and running all over the plate, no. So all we do is take your cucumber, whether you have this type or regular cucumber, you just take it and you scoop. I'm trying to hold this so you can see. Scoop out the insides, all right? Good. So that's what I'm doing here. And you will be surprised, even in a regular salad. Thank you very much for the love, thank you. You would be surprised. Um, a lot of times you get a salad and it's watery just because they haven't, they haven't taken the time to dry the lettuce or spin the lettuce. My goddaughter, Anika, um, bless her heart, when I was cooking for a wedding one time, um, I had her spinning lettuce. Till this day, she won't spin. Mm -mm. No. She says, no, God, Mom, no. But, now look. See that? All of that seeds has water in it. You don't want that in your salad, okay? And you can put it in. That goes for any salad. I do that with mostly um, all of my salads most of the time. When I'm cooking for other people, um... Sometimes the presentation, depending how it looks. We have a red onion. I know people don't like red onion. Thank you for the love. People don't like onions. If you don't like onions, don't put on. If you don't like onions, don't put onions. I say it every week. Oh, I don't like onions. So you're not gonna make the recipe? The devil. Onion. Cut it. Keep. The hairy and on that holds your onion together, okay? All right, so we're gonna take off this part. In our garbage bucket it goes. We're gonna cut, remember last week? One, two, all right? Can you see? And we, see the lines in the onion? Uh, onion. onion, they help you, they guide you. Yes, they guide you. So. Just take your time. Put the slits and the onions. Don't cut all the way through. We're only gonna use a quarter of this onion, but I'm going to chop all of it because we chop it once, use it twice, all right? Don't forget to like and share the video. I appreciate it. Yes, sharing is caring. Thank you for the love last week. Do you know that I had 1.6 thousand views <laughs> yes and I know that came from you sharing thank you so very much I appreciate it I really do only a quarter of the onion this is all we're going to use because we don't want to overpower our salad 
This is a bench scraper. You don't really need it. Um, I like to use it because I don't like to use the back of my knives. So what do we have in our salad? We have carrots. I keep saying carrots. We have corn, tomatoes. We added our red onion. Okay? So what is going to make this taste good? I'm glad you asked. We're going to add a little Italian dressing. How much? As much as you like. So while this is marinating, we're going to turn on our pan for our carrots. So we can grill them. Yes. It's nothing like a, a grilled hot dog. Let's chop up our cucumbers so we can add to that. Thank you for coming, Onion. I will chop up the rest of that later. Anybody that we don't need, let's go. You know what? That's a message. <laughs> Anybody in your life that you don't need, let them go. Yeah, just let them go. Yes, that's what I said. Let them go. Say cook clean, eat clean. I have to clean while I go. I don't. I can't do the. I can't do the mess. Mm -mm. Can't do the mess. Our our cucumber. We're cutting. I'm just cutting it into small strips. Okay. I think I can cut that again. Remember, don't chop, chop, chop. You're rocking. Your, your knife should never leave the board. So it's a rocking motion. And as you're cutting, you're moving your fingers back. Not to cut your fingers. It takes practice. Yes, it does. Where does this go? In our salad. Yes. Let's cut up the rest. And you can put as much or as little as you like. What are we doing? We're having a 4th of July cookout. I need somebody to make this so I can see. I know some of you have tried recipes already. Um, I appreciate it. So get your passport. Get your passport so we can eat around the world. Cucumbers in, carrot, um, tomatoes in, corn in, red onion. There's a chunk, I don't want that. Okay, let's see. Let's see, what are you saying, Patty? And also, Chef Money forgot to. Oh. Yes, we're looking for a name for our group once you join. So if you have a name that you like, um, drop it in my, uh, on, Chef, on Cooking with Chef Mark. Our hot dogs are going on the grill. We wanted some grill marks on there. Yes, yes, yes. Look, 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 look. Okay, I hear a little sizzle, and that is good. Garbage bucket back in the fridge. This goes. Where was this at? Gotta put things back where they belong, Marlene. Oh. We're mixing in, I need myrtle now. I hear a sizzle. Now, because of the acidity 
in our um, Italian dressing, I'm going to taste this. I knew I had a spoon. Yes. And see what we need. Get a little bit. Mmm. That's good. That's good. Okay. Simple. 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 All right. I'm going to add a little bit of ground black pepper. If you know me by now, I like spice. Um, there are different types of uh, heat on peppers. So black pepper has a different heat. Red pepper has a different heat. So you might see me add red pepper, red pepper flakes to something. And also black pepper. They're a totally different um, pepper and taste. And this is what our carrot dogs look like in our liquid. It is cooling down, and when it's finished cooling, um, I will put this in a container and let it marinate so that the seasonings can get all the way through, okay? All right. I don't need Himalayan salt. No, didn't need that. Didn't need agave. Thank you for coming as well. All right, so anything that we don't need, we get rid of it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, look, that's why you don't want to, let me cook it up this way. You don't want to cook your carrot until it's mushy because you won't be able to pick it up. Okay, excuse me. Okay, we can turn these off. It's time to get a little drink. All right. All right. We're doing good. Almost finished. Happy 4th of July, everybody. All right. Let's make a drink. Our patriotic drink. I have enough corn salad for a couple of days. Um, this lasts in your refrigerator quite well. So we'll sit that there. Wipe the board down. Also, when you're using a wooden board, um, there's a certain way that you need to take care of your wooden board or your chopping board. So we will discuss that 
at a later date. All right? So, let's see. Let's put that up here. Okay? What is a hot dog without hot dog buns? Yes, yes. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. They didn't have wheat buns, so you know what I say. Use what you got because that's what you got. You know? You know, I used to say, get what you need. Like Bishop Long, use what you got until you get what you need. That's not my phrase. So I changed it. Not because he said anything. Use what you got until you get what you need. That's his phrase. All right? Buns. I wanted wheat. They didn't have wheat. So we're moving right along. You like the play? It's 4th of July. Yes, yes. Thank you, Anna. I'm going to take my bun and just stick it on the grill to get it a little warm. While I'm doing that, I'm going to grab our drink. You know, I always keep a glass in the fridge. What do we have? A patriotic drink. That's what we have. We're gonna get ready for that. So, let's get our hot dog. Toasted bun. I think, I think I want this one. Look, no, do I want that one? No, I think I want this one. Look. Look, look, don't look. Don't it look like a hot dog? You wait till you taste it. Now, what do you like on your hot dog, Anna? I like mustard. I like yellow mustard. I like a little relish and a little sauerkraut. So that's what I'm going to put on my hot dog. Okay? All right, here we go. Mustard. Relish. Sauerkraut. All right. So let's go in with the mustard. Surprise. <laughs> That's because I shook it up. Mustard. Relish. I have sweet pepper apple relish when i tell you this is good it's a farm that makes it where i live i'm trying to tell you it's some kind of good i'm gonna put that on my hot dog <laughs> yes uh, i know i get excited over food and I'm going to put some sauerkraut because it's my hot dog. And I can put on it what I want to put on it. You put what you want. Ketchup. I'm not a ketchup girl on a hot dog. But look, 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 look. Yes, it's so good. Wait, wait. Wait till you taste it. We need a little corn salad. We need a little bit of corn salad on the plate also. I think I want to, well, yeah. Little corn salad on the plate. Yes, yes, yes. A little double A, yes. Your 
egg, when you boil an egg, it should not be green around the egg. You mean that means you overcooked it? Yes. Sauerkraut, um, spicy mustard, coleslaw, chopped pickles, fresh. Anna, thank you. I'm gonna have to try that. This is a hot dog. We have a little double A. We have a little corn salad. Uh, let's throw in some corn chips. Hey, keep the thing going. Corn, corn, corn. Yes, yes. Let's make our drink. Frozen strawberries. Buy them yourself. Wipe them off with a damp paper towel. Red, white, and blue. Put strawberries in the bottom of your glass. A little bit of white grape juice. All right. A couple more strawberries I think will be fine. Bring them home. Take the stems off. Put them on a separate pan and freeze them. Bam. You don't have to buy the frozen ones. That's it. Let's get our red, white, and blue. I took simple grape juice, put them in ice cube trays. Bam! Come on out. Come on, come on out. Blueberries that I picked myself. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. This is my favorite fruit. You do the same thing. Bring them home, wash them, pat them dry. So in the bottom we have a little grape, white grape juice, strawberries, red, white, blue. Bam! White grape juice, frozen blues, blueberries, and I have some bubbly, white, peach, ginger, bubbly water. Watch this. Top it off. A patriotic drink. Yes? You like? Yes. Come on. Look at there. Red, white, and blue. That is our drink. Oh, that's good. Let us taste the hot dog. By the way, thank you. We didn't travel anywhere today, but in our own kitchen. Um, we did an all-American 4th of July cookout meal with the humble hot dog. Um, using carrots today so we thank you uh bless the hands that prepared it that would be me the source from which it came the ground the garden taking us back to genesis yes thank you amen mm. oh look look every week I asked you to take a picture. Did you call me baby? So, so I did not call you. Oh, okay. Oh no, he comes <laughs> when the food is here. Um, wait a minute now. Somebody take a picture, please. Yes. Thank you. Take a picture again. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Administrator, you got the picture? Huh? Yes. All right. Let us have another bite. Uh, let us. Let me. Us. Did I call him? No. Mm. You sure you didn't call me him? <laughs> Come on and get a hot dog, Rob. What are you talking about? Excuse me for talking with food in my mouth. You sure I didn't call you, honey? Did y'all hear me call him? Mm -mm. Yes, you did. I didn't call you. Yes, you did. That's God calling your name. You better answer, Samuel. Look. Look. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this tastes exactly like a hot dog. I'm telling you. Mm. I'm telling you. Stop eating that junk. 
Okay? Easy. You can make this. Another picture, please. Thank you. Yes? <laughs> this is good. I never had this before. I figured red, white, and blue. Why not? Patriotic. White, great. And the thing is, when the ice cubes melt, it's still all juice. Oh, yes. It's still all juice. Yes. Yes, Cameron, please try it. Try it. Message me on Cooking with Chef Mark. Message me. Let me know. Take a picture of it. Go back and watch the video. I will be posting this um, on YouTube. Follow me there under Chef Martin Coles. I still have Chef Martin's table up. That's for personal um, chef um, meals that I can come to you when Corona dies. All right? Yes, yes. But until then, it will be delivery only in certain locations. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Egg is good. Mm. Let me tell you something. See this egg? Let me show you how an egg's supposed to look on the inside. No, we're not washing no other. This is how an egg is supposed to look on the inside. Yellow only. No green. Green means that you have overcooked the egg. No. No, no, no. I want to see yellow, yellow, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Well, that's the end of our video. Rob, would you like a hot dog? Well, come on, because the people have to go. Huh? And let the people go? Let my people go. Yes. All right. So thank you so much for joining me. Please, try the hot dog. You won't be disappointed. The carrot dog. Um, remember, next week's show will be on the new page, Cooking with Chef Mark. Next Wednesday at 1 p.m., I'll think about where we need to travel around the world for our passport. Hmm. If you have some ideas, please let me know, and we'll do our best to accommodate you. I must say that I've been cooking healthy, so um, if it's something other than a, a protein other than what you've seen me cook, doesn't mean that I won't teach you how to cook it. I just will not be cooking it here, all right? So, um, I will do fish, I will do seafood, I will do chicken because my husband um, still eats chicken. Um, occasionally we might have a wing you know hey but until then please make the recipe share like go on my youtube page watch those videos please share those all right thank you so very much i love you i love you love you um guess what diana says I eat meat, so chili dog for me, or meatless chili burger. That's fine. And guess what? You can put meatless chili on your corn dog. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I say. Eat outside the box. Eat outside the box. Try it. You might like it, all right? Until then, I bid you peace and love. Remember, cook clean, eat clean, and most of all, live clean. Until next Wednesday on a new page, peace, cooking. Peace, love, and soul. Rob said, peace, love, and soul. Yeah, that. Bye. On the YouTube, Chef Marlene Coles, Marsha. That's where it is. Chef Marlene Coles. Instagram, Chef Mar01. I post pictures and um, things on there, too. Oh, you know what, y'all? Let's taste the corn again. Why not? Look. Open wide. Say, ah, all right. Crunch. The crunchification. Yeah, I made that word up. On the corn. It's all that. 
Look at that. Look at the colors. Mmm. So good. Mmm. 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 Yes, Anna. You can't substitute the bread for a rat. Okay? I know sometimes most people like a hot dog bun. But whatever your choice is. And also, you don't even have to have the bread. Alright? Try it. Try it. Thank you everybody. Everybody for coming. I love you. I'm talking with food in my mouth. But I love you all. Peace, love, Rob said so. Y'all pray for me, okay? The stalker, the kitchen stalker, did I call him? Mm -mm. But guess what? After the live, he'll be in here. I love you. Until next Wednesday, new page, all right? Love you, love you, love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Thank you for the love. You know, last, last week I started crying on the live. That was horrible. I, ooh, but I was moved. Thank you for all those that have sewn into my cash app also. Dollar sign, Marlene Coles. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. Nay, get off my page. Lorraine, get your husband. <laughs> get your husband. Make him this. Make him this. All right? Make him this. Love you. Bye. I'm out of here. I got to clean up. Sorry. Smooches. Next Wednesday, 1 o'clock.